Hello and welcome to round 46 of the Great Chocolate Elimination Competition. We're expecting snow showers here today and yet on uh, Sunday it was a beautiful day. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we have our champion Choco Love 70% strong dark chocolate versus, and that's up from America, with uh, beans from, gosh, I think it, uh, African and Caribbean beans. It's not Caribbean because it's one R, two Bs, Caribbean. Okay, so, versus Poland's Green and Black's Organic 70% dark chocolate which uses trinitario beans all right so we'll start with our challenger of course there we go would you like some oh i'm sorry you're busy aren't you maybe another time i'll give you some chocolate very crisp The overtone, bold chocolate, sour, somewhat uh, sweet, somewhat. Mm. They did a really good job of bringing the, um, the 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 flavoring of the chocolate forward without using a lot of sugar to do so. Although you can't tell it by the amount of uh, calories per serving, it says there's three per serving, or per container, I mean, and it's 170 calories. So that's uh, 30 grams, has 170 calories in it, and uh, nine of those are from sugar. Hmm, that's very nice. Now let me clean my palate. Hold on. I forgot to mention that this is round 10 of the 70s bands of chocolate. Sorry, band of chocolates. The S in the wrong place. It's that magic S jumping around when you don't want it to. Okay, so that was really nice. But let's get our champions chocolate in my mouth. That's a very delicate flavor when I started chewing into it that I couldn't identify. Also a nice chocolate. A lot milder in, um, in comparatively speaking. Um, and not as sour. Um, now I'm going to get to a point where it's going to be too sour for me when I get up into the 80s. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm more of a 70s kind of guy, which is um, part of the reason I stopped in around 85 because I know once you get around 85 to 90 percent, uh, except for really exceptional chocolate makers, it can be a, a challenge for some people and. I'm one of those people who, at 85%, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to eat this, but uh, it's just a little bit too much. But I'm doing this for you guys as much as for anything else. Um, sure wish I was earning money that I could donate to charity, like uh, prevent uh, the Prevent Cancer um, charity. Um, but I do have to make a choice here. Good chocolates, both of them. However, Poland's green and black definitely was the better of the two. I mean, there was really no question about it in my mind um, once I got done tasting. I had not known what to expect because it's been a really long time since I had green and blacks. And I think actually, we're gonna, when I say a long time, I mean like, I think the last time I had it, I would, bought it in Singapore or something like that. I don't really remember but it was years ago, and uh, this is it's definitely, in my mind at least, uh, 
and my memory uh, gotten better. So, good job, Green and Blacks. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of the, or round of the Great Chocolate Elimination Competition. Please stick around for the next one, and we'll see how long Green and Blacks can maintain the championship before being supplanted, if they are. I hope you have a wonderful day.